All right, I'm gonna be walking through this Code Wars problem. It says, it's called House of Cards. You wanna build a standard House of Cards, but you don't know how many cards you will need. Write a program which will count the minimal amount, num minimal number of cards according to the number of floors you want to have. For example, example, if you want a one floor house, you would need seven of them. Um, seven cards for one floor. Huh. Um, two pairs of two cards on the base floor, one horizontal card, and one pair to get you to get the first floor. All right. Um, I'm going to draw this out, make sure I understand this. But OK, this note about floors, this kata uses the British numbering system for building floors. If you want your house of cards to have a first floor, it needs to have it needs a ground floor and then a first floor above it. I think that's what was confusing, is that a one floor house would have seven cards. And then for Python, input must be an integer greater than zero for others raise an error. So I'm going to try to draw this out. And I'm not using a mouse, I'm using my trackpad. So it's a little more difficult to use or I'm just not as used to it. So a one floor house would have seven cards. Go back to this. So two pairs of two cards on the base floor. I'm going to call this, um, where's my draw? The base floor is going to be floor zero, and it has two cards like this, two cards like that. I'm, let me look at this wiki how. So get a deck of cards, select two cards from the deck. Yeah, so you make this like triangle like structure with them. And then Add a card on top and then add another triangle structure. So that, yeah, that's seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. But just to draw it out, so um, a little tough to draw, but the one card, two cards, three cards, four cards, five cards, six cards, and the seventh card right there. And this is level one. This is level zero or base or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then I'm going to draw out um, what happens if we have um, two floors as well. So zero, then floor one, then floor two. So first floor, I think we would need three of these things. And then we'd have a card here. We'd have a card here. And so this is connecting everything, then a card here, a card here, then a card connecting everything, and then a final card. So it should be um, seven on this one. Oops, I don't wanna save this. And then two, four, six, seven, eight, 10, 12, 13, and 15. So I believe 15 cards for this one. If we kind of think about it, this is just this part right here, these last two floors. So this is seven cards. This is two, four, six, seven, eight. So yeah. So cool. So let's try and code this out now. Um, something that was kind of interested me was this part right here. The input must be an integer greater than zero. So we can't have negative floors and we can't have greater than zero so we can't have zero floors either it says for tells, tells us to raise an error and i think this is the first code wars problem where i've had to raise an error if you've never done that before it can be kind of confusing um i'm just going to show an example real quick x equals zero if x is less than zero raise and this is for exception handling and then you can put in a quote here. So um, floors should be greater than zero. So it throws an error and it includes our message here. So that way the user knows that 
um, the input that they, they chose is incorrect. Um, and, and this can be really useful when you're like building a function or something, um, if you want to control what the user can put into the function. But if we choose a number greater than zero, it runs fine. So I'm going to need this part right here. Um, I'm going to have to change something. I hate copying and pasting over to this because it always messes up the uh, indentions. Um, instead of X, I want it to be floors. So cool. And you can you can do this with some like other stuff too. So like. Um, Let's try, just try a negative number real quick. So floor should be greater than zero, but let, let's say someone put in a string six. Um, so it throws an error, but what if we wanted to like put a, like a statement about it? So if, um, ooh, I don't know how to do that. Um, how to check if something, if type like that. Yeah, so if type floors um, equals string, so value error, um, floors. So now if we run this, it'll, um, oh, we should run, this one should run before this one. Oops, and again, the indents, indentions are all messed up. Oh, oh, gosh darn it. It should be not equal to string, equal to string. Yeah, so if it's a, a string, then return floor should be an integer. This isn't required. I just wanted to kind of show like an example of why you would want to use this value error. So cool. So if the value is greater than zero, then we can go to this part right here and cool. So I want to go back to my diagram actually. And hmm. so I want to, I want to start with the floors equals one example, because I know that's seven. Um, so floors equals one. And I want to iterate through the, the number of floors here. So for, um, I'm going to call it F in range of floors. And F, I think that's just going to turn zero. So I think we'd want to do floors plus one. So, um, the base floor and then the actual first floor is what that is. And then go back to this diagram. So I need to count up how many of these little like diamonds there are not diamonds, these little triangles there's going to be. And kind of looking at this diagram, I think I see a pattern. So this one, there's two. This one on floor on floor zero, there's two. On floor one, there is one. On um, when we do this, we have three, we have two, we have one. And the pattern is is that um, as the the um, so this is number of this is the floor. And I cannot right with this thing. Um, and then I'm just gonna call this the triangle. There's um, the bottom floor has the number of floors plus one. So this one, there's technically, um, according to the kata, there's two floors, uh, or according to the kata, sorry, there's one floor. So it'd be number of floors plus one, and then it just subtracts one. So number of floors plus one and subtracts one. Well, this increases by one. So 
what I want to do is, hmm. I want to try to write a loop that gets me this three, two, one instance. And I'm drawing a blank on how to do that. So if I want to for f and range fours one, I think you do reversed. We'll reverse it. Reverse. It showed up as a different color, and that's a good sign. Four. So that does one and zero. Um, So an easier way to do this would be, um, I'm going to erase these parts, the floors, um, and call this floor one, floor two, floor one, two, and three. That way, these numbers kind of match up in a way. So two, one, one, two, one, three, three, one. So now if I do this, I would want um, one plus two. And what does that give me? That gives me floor one and floor two, which would correspond to this right here. Now I want to try and get the number of triangles. So that should be the reverse of it. Um, to do that, I'm going to zip these two ranges together. So floors and then is F and then the triangles is T is what those variables represent. Zip of this. And I want to do reversed range one floors plus two. And let's do the print F and T. And I got an error, I'm not sure where. So I don't think I have enough parentheses. So this parenthesis corresponds to that one. So I think I need one more. That looks good. So now I get this same structure of one, two, then two, one. And just to make simplify this a little bit, I'm gonna do an F string. Uh, so floor F is T. So floor one has two triangles, floor two has one triangle, triangles. <laughs> uh, if I do floor is equals two, so floor one has three triangles, three triangles, floor two has two triangles, and then floor three has one triangle. So cool, I think I got that structure right. Um, so I, I wanna keep this F string. Um, And I'm going to put in the number of cards there. So for each of those triangles, there are two cards. So it'll be two times the number of triangles. And that's two times T. So floor one has six cards. Or let's go back to well, we have one floor. So we have six cards. And this is from the triangles. I also need to incorporate the little connecting piece. And to do this, so for each, for every two triangles, I need one card. So I should divide it by two. So when there's two triangles and I divide it by two, I need one. When there's three, I should need two. Yeah, so I need to round up. So um, I'm gonna use uh, math has a ceiling function. So I do math.ceiling and do three divided by two. I gotta, I'm left with two because it takes 1.5 and just rounds up. So cool. So I want to add this, and I think that'll be right. 
will be everything. And that definitely is not. Um, so I went from six cards, now I have 10 cards. So floor one has six. Um, oh, I want the number of triangles. I hard coded three in there. So it should be this. So now I'm at eight cards. Um, let's just count them out. So floor one has five cards. One, two, three, four, five. So that's right. And then floor two has three cards. Floor two is just supposed to have two cards. And the reason I have an extra card is because I'm including this card. If there's a card right here, which I don't need. So um, I'm going to do a conditional statement. So if um, Hmm. So if, um, if T, I know the top, the very top of the, of this house of cards is going to have a single triangle. So if, um, I can use that as my conditional statement. So if this T is equal to one, then I know it's, I doesn't need a roof on it. So if T does not equal one, then do this else do an f string floor f t and let me close my curly brackets and then this should be a multiplication not an addition Ooh just to make it consistent. So floor one has five cards, floor two has seven cards. Let's try it for, that looks, I believe that's right, seven cards. Uh, let's try it for two floors or what they call it, British two floors. So this is eight, 13, 15, which I believe is right. So cool. So this looks good. I want to, um, instead of printing this out, I want to um, save this as a result card. Zero, and then this is gonna be a card. This equals this. And then a card plus equals, oops, two times T. Or two times. Oh, forgot a parenthesis. And then let's see what card count is. Oh, 15. So this looks good. Um, let me just move this over. My intentions are all jacked up as normal. I don't need this print statement, so I'm going to comment it out. That was just kind of for debugging. Oh, it needs to be indented. Comment out the print statement that I used for debugging. And then we want to return this. And let's try it out. Oh, I need to import math. Out. So passed. So let's try it on everything. And <laughs> this is the nice thing about these code wars is a lot of times there's examples that we are not um, accounting for. So I'm going to print out floors. We can see what we got wrong. So three floors should equal 25, should equal 26. Uh, 
Um, okay, so this one we passed, this one we passed, this one we did not pass. So three floors we did not pass. Um, so let's let's try and just count it out and see what we did wrong. So three floors. Um, I don't know, maybe I should just start all this at the top because I don't know how many diamonds I need off the top of my head. So, and then the third one. So we have that. And then two would be, there'd be three here. And then a third one, and then two cards supporting these. And then one would be four. So one, two, three, four. So this would be one, two, three. So on the floor one, we have two, four, six, eight. 9, 10, 11. I'm just going to write them on this side. Then on this one, we have 2, 4, 6, 7, 8. This one, we have 2 and 3. This one, we have 2. So what is that? We have 19, 22, 19, 22, 24. And they're saying it should be 26. Oh, geez. Um, I maybe not, maybe do not understand this. Um, floor one, eight cards. Hmm. Let me try and run this. Floors. And they said three, or which one did I get wrong? Three floors. Huh. 25. Um, and I don't know, I got a weird number. I got, so I'm counting 10, but then here I counted two, four, six, eight, nine, 10. 11. Hmm. And then second floor, eight cards, which I was got floor three, five cards, two, four, five. Yeah, I counted that wrong. And then two. So this would be 19. 24, 26. So I am doing it wrong. And the floor I'm getting it incorrect on is this one right here. And I think it's because when I do, there's four of these things. There's four triangles at the bottom. Um, That gives me that. Hmm. So I'm doing that process wrong. So maybe it'd be plus one. That's definitely not right. Um, math dot four. I need a another parenthesis in here. Um, so three. Hmm. I don't know how to do that. Um, 
So let me just kind of write, oops. Let me draw this out because I don't know what the pattern is. So when there's two, I need one. When there's three, I need two. When there's four, I need one, two, three, right? These two connecting, these two connecting, these two connecting. When I have five, I think there is a pattern. <laughs> Hopefully this one's four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so it's number of triangles minus one. Um, instead of that weird math thing I was trying to do. So it'll be plus Oops, that's not what I want. It'll be triangles minus one. Bam. So let's try this now. So get rid of this junk right here plus triangles minus one. Now pass the one test case and looks like it passed everything. So, um, this is my solution, kind of reading this now. I don't think I need this conditional statement in here anymore because um, math dot ceiling. Um, oh, I was gonna say, I don't need this part anymore. This stuff's commented out, um, but I don't think I need this conditional statement in anymore. Um, I wanna try, try it without it, because it'll clean it up. So get rid of this junk. Eh, I'm gonna keep my condition, my not my conditional, my print statement. So let's, yeah, no. 15 minus one or seven. So the reason this works with, uh, I don't need that conditional statement in anymore is when T is equal to one. So when I'm at the very top of the tower, it'll be one minus one, it'll be zero. So it's not gonna add that card up above. So I'm gonna clean it up a little bit by doing, get rid of, getting rid of that. So now we have our, um, we can get rid of the print the floors. So check check if uh, the value is greater than zero. If it's not, then or greater than or equal to zero, or if it's, if it's yeah, if it's greater than zero, if it's not greater than zero, then run the value error or raise the value error, and then otherwise run knock run through it. And let's make sure this still runs. So cool, so that is my solution. Um, let me know if you have any questions.